Well, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Golden Dome for tonight's game between the Messina Red Raiders and the Ogdensburg Blue Devils. I'm Jerry Manor. Alongside me once again tonight is Dave McLennan. And, uh, David, they dwindled down to a precious few. Yes, it was. It seems like yesterday, Jerry, that uh, we started out the first game of the season here. We're looking at this is the 15th league game for the Raiders in the uh, total schedule of 16. They finished the league on Saturday uh, hosting uh, the Canton Golden Bears, but uh, it's really gone by uh, like a flash. It's been a very enjoyable experience. Uh, the Raiders are coming off a, uh, a tough loss to an outstanding Albany Academy team uh, last Saturday. Uh, and they're hosting their, their own tournament, their first loss of the season. We're going to see how they react tonight. Uh, They've got to, we know they've got to focus in on these remaining two uh, league games, Jerry. That's uh, uh, very important for them. Get that loss uh, to Albany Academy out of the way. On the other hand, Augsburg is, uh, I guess you could uh, describe it as a disappointing season. They've been up and down like a yo-yo and more downs than, than ups. Uh, so this is, uh, this is a big game for them. They're uh, trying to prepare themselves for the upcoming season. And they also are working under an additional handicap. Uh, they're without their big gun tonight, uh, Chris LaRose. He's not in the lineup. So again, it's Messina OFA, Coach Johnny Clark. And the, he wasn't sure offhand, but we know they are 6-7-2 and two, uh, league-wise. And uh, they finish up this weekend. They have a non-league game against uh, North, who is it, Northeast Clinton at that play. And I, then, you know, I kind of figured that'd be a league game because who else, you know, why else would you play them down there? But it is not a league game. It's a non-league game. And they've got to be concerned about the, uh, they're either going to finish or uh, be in the fourth or fifth seed uh, when uh, seeding time comes around. And that means that we know that they're going to play uh, Plattsburgh. But uh, the uh, $64,000 question, is it going to be up in Plattsburgh or here in OFA? And I know that's a long bus ride either way you look at it. It's long enough from Messina when you add on the extra distance uh, to Ogdensburg. It uh, certainly is a lot further. So it's a big game for Ogdensburg. They want to get ready to head into the season uh, on a winning note. Like you said, they've had their ups and downs. Uh, they've beaten Potsdam twice this year. They tied Messina. I guess those would have to be the ups. On the other side of the coin, uh, they've lost uh, to uh, Norwich Norfolk twice. They've tied Watertown. Uh, you know, they've lost to teams you just wouldn't expect them. They got hammered by St. Lawrence Central. They got hammered by Salmon River. You know, uh, it's one of those, uh, it's a, the way I've been describing them, Dave, is a Jekyll Hyde team. That's right. You have used that, uh, Jerry. Uh, I heard you say uh, on many occasions, which uh, OFA team is going to show up tonight? The one that's uh, really going to play or the one that uh, is going to go for a, for a lark out there? It's, it's hard to figure out. But We've, we've seen both of them yeah. this year. And, but it, it seems that uh, outside that first Messina game, they certainly were didn't have a good ball game, but when they came back down to Messina and uh, played outstanding hockey, and uh, there's something about the, the red and blue uh, of the Raiders that uh, seems that the, the bird gets up for it. So I, I would expect if they get good goaltending tonight, now they're not starting the young uh, Bill Sawyer, they're starting Greg Conger uh, between the pipes tonight, uh, so we'll see. He's got to play a tough game, and you mentioned LaRoe, uh, the big gun, LaRose, is out, and he not only is, uh, is very instrumental in a regular shift, but he keys the power play and also shorthanded uh, situations. Ladies and gentlemen, before we start tonight, officials Arnie O'Reilly and Reese Jeanette, a couple of Alexandria Bay officials, and uh, uh, not a bad crowd, but certainly not the kind of crowd that we're used to seeing over here. Uh, normally, uh, you need a shoehorn to get anybody else in those stands, but uh, there are some empty seats up there, but... Uh, Again, it's not, not a terribly bad crowd. And our vantage spot, for those who are familiar with the Golden Dome, we're on the south side. The east uh, the rink uh, runs east and west, and uh, the fans are across the way on the north side. The Raiders will be defending the goal to our left on the west end. Uh, they've got their uh, road uh, dark red uh, trimmed with white and blue and blue pants and red helmets, and the Berg wearing the, the white home uh, trimmed with blue. I expect Messina will come out right after the Berg tonight, Jerry, especially since LaRose isn't out there. I expect him to come right after him aggressively forechecking uh, to see if they can uh, force him into turnovers right off the top of the game. Okay, we're going to see the Jason Ramey line out there. He's centering Chris Spicer and Craig LaJoy. And who are they going to start on defense? I think Brian Bushy will be out there along with Chris Wilson. And for the Messina Red Raiders, the Pat Tracy line will start Tracy, Murphy, and McCracken as uh, Scotty Murphy back for the tournament, and this will be his third game back after the injury. Timmy Thompson and Brett Schneider will be the starting blue line core for the Red Raiders as we get ready to go in this one. Second of the last regular season game for Messina. Of course, it's into the sectionals next weekend, and knock on wood, hopefully the state's after that. 
Off the faceoff, dumped into the Messina zone. I think we forgot to mention big number one between the pipes. Bruce DeRushy is going to be tested right now, but the puck is fired wide into the corner. Puck in the Messina zone. McCracken picks it up, slides it out to center ice. Wilson picks it up for the Berg. Back to the Messina line. Schneider is there. Backhand pass goes over to Thompson. Thompson pokes it, trying to get it out of the zone. He does along the boards right in front of the benches by the red line. And Tracy picks up the loose puck. Feeds Murphy across the blue line. The big drive, and it goes high and wide. And around the boards in OFA territory, slides out to center ice. And Tracy is there. Dumping to an open wing. LaJoy picks it up at the red line. Flips into the Messina zone, and it comes in the corner in behind the net. Picked up there by Brett Schneider. Schneider for the Raiders. The backhand pass goes to Murphy. Murphy just gets it out of the zone barely. Tracy has to come back for it, has it poked away. Here's an opportunity for Chris Rufa, side of the net. He's forced in behind by Tracy. Goes back to Bushy at the point. Bushy's big wind up is knocked down by Murphy. He battles for it, and he can't quite come up with it. And Rufa tips it to Bushy, or that's Wilson, rather, tips it to Bushy. And Bushy flips it in behind his own net. Up on the wing for Craig Lehew. Lehew drops it back to Bushy. And we understand he's going to see a lot of ice time here this evening. He dumps it all the way down the ice. And icing will be called on the Blue Devils. 13.42 left first period. And uh, on the Peach Jewelers scoreboard, it's 0-0. Raiders just uh, dodged a mini bullet there. They were making a line change. Both uh, defensemen came to the... Uh, came to the bench, the play came out of the, the OFA end, and they uh, rink-wide pass, and if uh, the defenseman would have hit that wing breaking down the right side, he had nothing but clear ice, Jerry. And right off the top, within 10 seconds, the Raiders turned it over, and uh, good yeah. scoring opportunity for Hagensburg. Here's Labarge trying to slide it right on. The save made by Greg Conger. It's picked up in behind the net. Jake Morris takes it into the corner, right side of the goalie. Flips it behind to Jeff Bigelow. Bigelow trying to center it, goes off a leg. Picking it up there is Todd Hansen. Around the boards, Morris steals. Here's Jake in behind again. Looking, looking, circles around in the corner. Stops, circles back the other way. Being bothered there, but flips it ahead. Bigelow, Bigelow, into the corner. Looking for Morris. It goes by him back to the point. Mike Adams steps in front of it and flips it back into the corner. Jeff Bigelow, wax at it. Goes around the boards for Tommy Moore. Moore trying to feed it through. Taken away by Mike Myers. Doesn't get it out. Here's Jake Morris. Morris dumps it in behind the net, goes to Bigelow. Bigelow looks to center, banging for it. He and Hansen, and coming back to pick it up there is Scott McRoberts. And he starts out right in front of his own net, but he gets it out to center ice. Flipped into the Messina zone, comes in behind the net now as OFA will make a line change. Mike Adams picks up the loose puck, starts it out of the zone. Has it tipped away from him, has to come back after it, circles back into his own zone again. Over on the other side, Jason Labarge. Labarge bounce pass to center ice. Whitka pokes it ahead for Fauché. Into the zone it goes. Fauché centering pass. Davis deflects it just wide. Davis in behind, digging it out. Looks to wrap it. Feeds right in front to Whitka. Can't get the shot off. Has it poke checked away. It comes to Catula. Heath Catula trying to get out of the zone. Poked away, but now it comes out to center ice. And Scott Williams cross the blue line. Big drive. Garushi makes the save and tips it in behind the net on the second time around. Puck goes into the corner. Catula after it. As it kicked away, gets it in free in front. They jam, and nice play by Thompson to break it up and headman it down the ice. And Whitcup couldn't quite catch up with it, but apparently he touched it as icing waved off. Puck back in the OFA zone. Now Eddie Davis in for checking on Brian Bushy. Puck comes free as Bushy breaks out of there. Here's Bushy down the left sideline. Into the Messina zone, trying to slide it through. Taken out of the play. Puck sits in the slot. Finally, it's banged over into the corner, and it's picked up there by Joey Fauché. Boche now lugging out of his own end, starting to move it ahead across the red line. Takes it in. Nobody picks him up, and he can't get the shot off as he had his stick knocked away. And the Blue Devils start it back the other way. Out to center ice it comes. Here comes Wilson again, just flipping it into the Messina zone. Brett Schneider is there. Schneider's pass. Headman intercepted by Ramey. Ramey dumps it in the corner, trying to get it ahead to Spicer. Puck comes around the boards. Whitcup. oh, he got railed. And we're going to have a whistle and a hit from behind against OFA. And Bobby Whitcup took the check, ended up on his uh, knees, but Messina is going to end up with a power play. He really did take uh, Jason Ramey, ran him from behind, and really uh, gave him a hard check into the, into the boards down in the corner to the left of Brewster Rushing. There's no question that was a penalty. Uh, just seconds before that, uh, nice check. Uh, Timmy Thompson and Joey Fauché combined uh, to sandwich uh, uh, the uh, defenseman, uh, Brian Bushy, for the Blue Devils, and it was a classic uh, check and knocked him flat to... Nice check. Off the face off. The Tracy line out there for Messina. It comes to Thompson. He flips it from the red line in the zone. And I think we're going to have an offsides call to Messina. Somebody ahead of the play that time. And I do believe it was Scotty McCracken on the right wing. 
the uh, second unit uh, of the Raiders, the, the Jake Morris line and the Joey Poche line, first shifts out. Both, uh, first time I had a good shift, uh, so maybe that's a good omen of things to come. Uh, we'll see what this uh, first unit of Pat Tracy, Scotty McCracken, and Scott Murphy can do on the power. Off the face off, Bushy after it. He picks up the loose puck. Murphy looks to throw a check. It doesn't get out of there. McCracken at the blue line. Scotty flips to Murphy in the corner, trying to center. Tracy can't get that shot off. Puck comes back to the blue line, kept in by Thompson momentarily, but now it's out to center ice. Over to Mike Adams. Adams now lugs it in the corner. Here comes Mike with a puck, slipping it in behind. He gets railed. After it is Bushy, flips it over on the other side for Spicer. Spicer tied up by Tracy. Thompson steps in, centering pass, knocked down in front by Craig LaJoy, and he starts back the other way. His shot from center ice goes way wide. And Mike Adam picks it up off the end board. Goes to Thompson. Thompson, head man pass back into the OFA zone, dumped right back down the ice, and DeRushy has to make a save, and Mike Myers. Now Thompson with it, flipping ahead for McCracken. We're down to 30 seconds in the power play, which as of yet has not really given Messina any good chances. McCracken's head man gets it himself, takes it across, flips it in the zone, dumped right back down the ice. And Adams has to come back for 19 seconds left in the power play. Now Messina making a change here. As the Raiders break out, Thompson fell down, but Bigelow comes back, puts it on the stick of Tracy. Tracy slides it in the OFA zone, and it's dumped back to the blue line. Goes back in the corner off a leg. Myers flips it, takes a weird bounce. Foshe digging after it in the corner. Now he and Myers jam. Oh, boy, there's another penalty on OFA as Mike Adams picks up the puck, the backhander, shot saved. The rebound is touched by OFA as Foshe was the recipient of an elbow. That was about as obvious a penalty as you can take. No question number 20, Heath Catola took a, uh, he could have got him for charging, elbowing, uh, high sticking. He really, they call uh, him charging. Yeah, you know, that's uh, any one of the three. And again, uh, not a good penalty from OFA's uh, standpoint. Uh, just prior to that, the, uh, the Raiders were, uh, Scotty McCracken got uh, delayed his wings along the side. You can't do that. You got to have those quick, quick, Good, quick passes. He had a little individual work here at center ice, and he was stranding his uh, wingers along uh, along the blue line. You've either got to make the quick pass or get the puck up into the zone. So we've got the second power play unit out now. Jake Morris out there with Bigelow and Foshe, and uh, still no score on the Pete Schuler scoreboard. Off the face, back to the point. LeBac, who's in his first game back, over to Schneider. Schneider fakes the shot, feeds it to Morris, goes right back to Brett. Brett back to Morris at the 45. Jake with it, goes to uh, LeBac, his shot deflected in front. Now it comes to, Big, or to uh, Foshe, he tries to clear it back to the point, but it's picked up there by Scotty McRoberts, and he dumps it down the Messina end. Brett Schneider with it, starting back for the Raiders. Head man to Morris. Jake starts it across, flips it in behind the OFA zone. Jeff Bigelow after it. Here's Bigelow in behind the net. Circles from left to right, flips it along the boards for Morris. Morris has it poked away, and it's dumped down the ice again by Scotty McRoberts. In behind the Messina net. Dumped around, doesn't quite get out of the zone. Yes, it does, as Bigelow picks it up. Here's Bigelow feeding Foshe. They caught OFA in a line change, but Foshe couldn't quite catch up with it. He tries to center it, bounces by everybody to the blue line. Brett Schneider pokes it to Morris. Morris back to LeBac. LeBac in the corner to Foshe. 20 seconds left in the power play. Back to LeBac. Nice play as he was on his knees. He still kept it in. Goes to Morris. Morris dropping back. Schneider. Schneider to LeBac. LeBac winds up. The shot goes off a sprawling Blue Devil into the corner and Jake Morris picks it up. Feeds it in behind. Bigelow. Bigelow goes back to Morris but it's taken off his stick by Lehu in behind the net. Picked up by Joey Foshe. Foshe to Bigelow. Bigelow jams in behind. He controls it. Here's Bigelow trying to slide it right in front. The backhander right on the shot. They just miss. And the puck dumped by the Devils all the way down the ice, and they kill that one off. Oh, boy, good chance there for Messina. Now here's LeVac with it, flipping around the boards for Schneider. Schneider moves it ahead, trying to get out of the zone. OFA keeping it in. Spicer comes to the side of the net. LeVac there. LeVac's pass intercepted by Ramey, and the puck comes free, picked up by Murphy. Murphy bounce pass. Goes to McCracken. McCracken trying to feed ahead to Tracy. Stolen away. McCracken gets it back. Has it stolen by LaJoy. It comes to Schneider. Schneider flips around on the other side. Murphy coming back for it. He overskates it. Ramey steps in front of it. Picks it up. Takes it to the side of the net. Can't get the shot off, though, as Murphy takes him into the corner. The puck comes to LeBac. Squirts free. And goaltender DeRushy feeds it in behind for LeBac, who flips it around the boards in the corner. Now Spicer with it. Trying to come through. There's going to be a penalty on Messina now. 
as Levesque will get a high sticking call and the Blue Devils will get a power play opportunity. No question. That's a frustration penalty. Uh, Brian Levesque, he and uh, goaltender Bruce DeRushy, a little miscommunication. Uh, who's got it? I don't want it. You take it. And finally, Brian picked it up and uh, he was being harassed by the OFA forward and who took the puck away from him in frustration. Brian turned and uh, just knocked him right off his feet with a high stick. Uh, good call. Uh, nice job out there by uh, on the previous uh, number 23, uh, or correction, number 8, Joel McRoberts, killing for the Blue Devils. Okay. On the faceoff, Puck comes into the slot, but is kicked back to the blue line. Kept in by Bushy. Here's Bushy with it. Moving it along the sideboards. They try to deflect it. It comes to Tracy. He's got it, and he's going to have a partial breakaway. They're going to catch him, though, I think. Here's Tracy's shot. Score! A shorthanded goal, and if I'm not mistaken, that's Messina's first of the year. I'll tell you, uh, two mistakes on that play. Uh, Mike Myers playing on the point had no chance of diving down on that situation. He really uh, he dove down, and uh, Captain Pat Tracy tipped the puck by him, uh, had a, I won't say a clear breakaway, picked it up in the neutral zone just outside the defensive blue line. He was being chased uh, by one of the Augensburg players and was really at a bad angle. And goalie Greg Conger, uh, he came out to cut the angle somewhat, but not enough. And uh, the, the shot just handcapped him. He got a piece of it, but it uh, over his shoulder into the net. It looked like McRoberts was going to force him wide enough, but uh, Tracy got the shot off. And like you said, a handcuffed Conger. And Messina scores a shorthanded goal. Thompson with a puck in his own end. Bounce pass to Tracy. Tracy looks to move it down the ice, and he gets it out to center ice. He was looking for McCracken, but it was intercepted. And now OFA flips into the Messina zone. Picked up by Thompson, who dumps it right back down the ice. Back there is Mike Myers. Myers trying to get it ahead to the blue line, but not in the zone. Messina making a penalty killing change. Bigelow out there with Morris. Bigelow, he's not going to try to flip it down the ice. He's going to try to bring it down, and he did. And now Jake Morris follows up, takes it back out, drops it to the Messina blue line. It comes to Mike Adams. He's going to wait. He's going to go over to Timmy Thompson, and Thompson flips it ahead. Goes to Jake Morris. Morris steps right by the defenseman. He's got Bigelow. Flips it to Bigelow. Shot. Oh, just wide. Morris in behind the net now, trying to flip it in the corner. Bigelow again. Backhands it. Goes to Morris with 13 seconds in the penalty. Jake trying to battle through, and finally it's picked up by Spicer. He flips it ahead, and it comes to Jason Labarge. He waits, flips it right back into the OFA zone. Mike Myers loses it into the Messina zone. Comes to Labarge and he flips it down the ice into the OFA zone. Now dumped right back to the Messina blue line. After it there is Chris Spicer. He dumps it in the Messina zone. Messina leading one to nothing on the Peach Jeweler scoreboard on a shorthanded goal. Bigelow gets it down the ice, and they're gonna wave the icing off as the OFA defense was asleep on that. That should have never gotten out of the zone. Tommy Moore stepping in, trying to come up with it, but it comes to Bushy. Bushy flipping it ahead to the wing, Craig LaJoy, stolen away from him. It comes to Schneider. Schneider to Labarge at the Messina blue line. Labarge across the red line, flips it back in the OFA zone, and it's into the corner off Greg Conger's goalie stick. Now Fauché digging in the corner after it. Whitcup steps in front of it. He can't control it. Finally, it's taken out of the zone by Brian Bushy. Headman pass into the Messina zone. Goes by Schneider. He comes back for it, trying to center it. It bounces around into the slot, picked up by Eddie Davis. He waits, feeds Whitka, breaking down the left wing side. Bobby catches up with it, has it kicked away. Back to the blue line. Schneider's drive on the fly, and the save made by Greg Conger. Puck in the corner, in behind the net. Here's Eddie Davis with it. He's got Fauché in the slot, trying to feed it to him. Knocked down by Jason Ramey, and Ramey doesn't get it out of there. Labarge keeps it in nicely, flips it in behind the net. Bushy goes back for it. He and Whitcup jam. Whitcup almost takes it away, but Bushy comes up with it. Now Davis gets a stick on it. Here's Bushy trying to barge his way through. Out to the blue line. Doesn't get it out. Here's Fauché trying to center it. Nobody was home. It goes in the corner. Davis takes a whack at it. Goes back to LaBarge by him and out to center ice. And back there is Joey Fauché to pick it up. Joey circling at his own blue line. Headmans it on the backhand. Has it taken away there. And back the other way comes Scott Williams into the Messina zone underneath him. Whitcup whacks at it. Doesn't get it out of there. They pass it into the corner, goes to Williams. Williams and Whitcup go together. Puck comes back to the blue line, kept in. Bushy, the big drive, and the save by DeRushy. He's going to hold on for the faceoff. And with 3.50 left on the Peach Jewelers scoreboard, Messina leads 1 to nothing. Long shot from the point, but I was keen on Jason Labarge out there, and he was doing his job. He left the goal tending to Bruce DeRushy. Bruce made the save, covered up on the rebound, and Jason tied the man up in front. Jake Morris, last shift out there, he just about undressed. Uh, Number 13, which would be Todd Hansen at the blue line, went in on a two-on-one, had Jeff Bigelow, and uh, he elected to pass uh, instead of shooting. Uh, nice play by Jake Morris. Face off left side. 
Off the draw, comes back to Mike Adams, lifts it in the air, gets it out to center ice, and is poked away off sides by OFA. Good play by Hanson. Had he not touched that, Messina would have been down on a two-on-one. That might have been a set play. Uh, Mike Adams is uh, sharp out there on the faceoff. Uh, Pat Tracy broke right up through the uh, maze of OFA players, and uh, Mike... Uh, Mike in the corner picked up the puck, and he flipped it over the top of everyone, and it almost got over. It would have been a breakaway for Pat Tracy, but the Augsburg defenseman just knocked it down at the last minute. Off the faceoff, Williams and Tracy puck just inside the Messina line. Head man out to center ice. Here comes McCracken by way of Thompson. McCracken now along the boards, ridden out of the play. Tracy tra trailing the play, trying to come up with it in the corner. He and McCracken. McCracken flips it around the boards. It bounces free into the circle. Controlled there by Cotula. Cotula taken into the boards by Adams. Puck kicks free. Here comes uh, Mc, uh, McCracken trying to get the shot off. He gets hauled down. The puck comes back to the point. Here's Murphy with it. Murphy's shot. Ooh, that wasn't too much too wide. Here's uh, Thompson's shot just wide, deflected. Puck comes in behind. Mike Adams with it. Adams back to the point. Murphy, the big drive, and he fanned on the shot. And where is the puck? Picked up there by Cotula. Offsides on the play. And Scotty Murphy not used to playing defense, and he kind of fanned on that shot. He fanned on the shot, but he uh, redeemed himself. He felt that it was going to be a breakaway for the OFA player, so he knocked him down. Uh, uh, that first line, trying to get something going. Uh, they didn't have a, a, a real productive game in the last one against Albany Academy, and uh, Scotty McCracken out there trying to get a little life, a little uh, stir, stir the pot, uh, get things mixed up, and he took on about three OFA players in that last shift. <laughs> Morris is lined back out against the Rufa line. Off the face, bouncing puck into the Messina zone. And it sits in the circle. They jam at it, and the puck goes in behind the net off a backhand shot. Ella Barge throws a check. The puck kicks free into the corner. After it there, the Blue Devils still trying to center it, and it bounces in the slot. McCracken, or I should say uh, Bigelow picks it up, flips it ahead to Morris. Offside, Jeffrey ruled ahead of the play. Just a tad. Uh, very close call at the other end uh, by the Blue Devils. Uh, Picked up the puck behind the net. The Raiders had plenty of defense been, uh, and even the center back in the slot area. But uh, number 16, Craig LaHoy, uh, LaHue, I guess it is, slid down between the seam and just fanned on a pass from about 10 feet in front of that net. Bruce Drushy left all alone there. Off the faceoff. Puck comes back in the Blue Devil zone. Bushy flips it ahead. Labarge right there to dump in the zone. And again, an offside's called. And let's see here. That'll be just outside the zone. Looked like... Uh, Bigelow thought he got out before he touched it, but apparently not. Uh, rotated, uh, the Raiders rotating uh, in and out like a re revolving door with their defenseman <laughs> as far as injuries. Uh, Brian LeBac, their young defenseman, is out, back in for tonight's game. And uh, their other young defenseman, Tommy Post, is out. Uh, looks like they're rotating five, uh, five tonight. They they're going to rule that an intentional offside. So the faceoff comes back in the Messina zone. LeBarge off the draw, flips ahead to Bigelow. Bigelow's pass intercepted. But covering up on the play is Levac. Headman pass goes by Tommy Moore. They're going to call an icing on it. Nobody touched it on the way through. Had that uh, connected, it may have been a good break for Messina, but it did not. So back it goes into the Messina zone. And on the other side of the coin, uh, I know the OFA bench said, boy, if we could get a break. Uh, that time, uh, uh, Jeff Bigelow, head down, made that pass, didn't read the OFA winger. Steffi stepped right up in front, and he almost picked it off, and he was home free from the top of the circle. Hi, Walter. Morris will take the face off, left side, off the draw, puck comes in behind, Schneider flipping it around the boards to Bigelow now, Bigelow, bounce pass ahead to Morris, here comes Jake breaking in, he's got Tommy Moore, backhand pass right in front, shot, oh just wide by Moore, nice pass by Morris, back to the point, here's Schneider into the corner, Morris after it there, in behind now, steps by the defense, Jake from left to right, Takes it into the corner now, back to the point. Timmy Thompson's drive, the save, and it goes in behind again. After it there is Bigelow. Bigelow in the corner, back to Thompson. Thompson has it deflected, and the puck comes to McRoberts. McRoberts ridden off the play by Thompson, and Timmy picks up the puck. Bounces it ahead for Moore. Moore feeds Bigelow. Bigelow, did he get it out of the zone? No, he didn't. Kept in by Ramey. Now Tommy Moore after it. Moore and Ramey, and it comes back out to center ice. Wilson. Backhands into the zone, picked up by Messina. <laughs> Offsides pass comes ahead from Schneider to Bigelow. He couldn't stop his momentum. And we are down to 124 left in period number one. And on the Peach Jewelers scoreboard, Messina continues to lead 1-0.
Terry, just like it takes more than one ingredient to make a good cake, it takes more than one thing to happen to have a good play. Jake Morris made a great pass, but also the other ingredient was Jeff Bigelow went to the net without the puck, and that's what you have to do. And uh, it was uh, a near miss for the Raiders. Off the face, off the Fauche line out there. It's flipped back out to center ice. Comes the Messina line. Adams is there. Flipping ahead to Fauche. Fauche steps it ahead to Davis across the blue line. Eddie takes it in right side, stops, looking, looking for Fauche, high slot, the quick wrist shot, oh, he hit the goal post. Oh, good play by that third line. Puck comes back to the blue line, Adams keeps it and drives it, and the kick save made by Conger. Now the puck in the boards. After it is Fauche, Fauche and Davis. Davis comes away with it, the drive, and he fired it high over the net. Puck goes in the corner, Whitcup after it, ridden out of the play, goes after it anyway, but it's kicked ahead to center ice. OFA now breaking it down the other way, take it in the zone. Here's a weak shot, goes just wide in behind the net. I don't know if Durushi saw that one, kind of one of those bouncing plays. Now Messina trying to move ahead. Ramey throws a check, the puck comes free. Ramey picks up the loose puck in the corner. He and Levac go after it. They jam for it along the boards. The puck's still free. Ramey and Levac, Fauche's in there. It's still along the boards. Ramey trying to kick it ahead. Fauche steps in. He gets hauled down. They jam for it. Levac comes away with it. There's going to be a penalty on OFA, I believe. Puck back to the point. Here's the drive. The save made, and the whistle blows. He's going to call Messina, and I... Uh, Fauche just, Joe, just Joe. got railed by... Uh, I, holy cow. Again. They're going to call them both, I think. Okay, all right. Well, if he's going to call them both, he should have uh, he should have blown the whistle sooner. He, I think it's just going to be a single. We'll, Oh no, the gate's open over yeah. there. Then he should have called it, should have blown it sooner. But uh, I was just going to comment, Joey Fosche. He, again, I've said it so many times this year. He isn't very big, uh, but I, he plays big. He doesn't shy away from throwing a check out there. I don't care how big the guy is, and he's. Uh, you have to admire that. Uh, he's giving away size, and he's giving away a lot of poundage. But he sticks the head right in there, and the body four checks. He finishes the check. He took on two or three OFA Blue Devils over in the corner. You know, we've seen that from Bobby Whitcup, too. Yeah, you know? that, uh, and that line is, and Eddie Davis, uh, two or three shifts out here tonight, uh, that, that line's been out there, has had excellent shift. He made a nice pass. Here's a shot right off the faceoff, save made. We're down to t less than 10 seconds left. Messina breaking out of there, trying to get it out of the zone. It comes to Thompson, head man to Tracy. He just turns and he can't get the shot off before the buzzer sounds. So we'll go to the locker room with Messina leading it one to nothing. Uh, and I would have to say uh, OFA had a couple of chances, but Messina pretty well after the first four or five minutes control the period. Yeah, I would give a uh, territorial edge uh, to Messina. They had uh, they didn't finish a couple of plays, but they were buzzing around there. The the Morris line was uh, really looking sharp out there, and the Fauche line, when they were out there, they were putting pressure on. Uh, the Raiders uh, dodged a few bullets down here, a couple of giveaways, but uh, those things happen in the game, and you have to get those breaks. Uh, uh, but territorial edge, I would give the, the edge to the Raiders, and they've got the, the one big goal up on the scoreboard. We're going to start out four on four, a couple of men in the box. Ramey and Fauche are the men in the box, and so it's four on four off the faceoff. Into the Messina zone right back out again. Here comes McCracken, digs it across the line. He's going to shoot, and it's knocked down by the defense and dumped down the ice. That'll be an icing call against the Blue Devils and move the faceoff back inside Blue Devil territory. So we just underway here in the second period. The Messina Red Raiders lead it on a score of one to nothing on the Corky's Collision scoreboard. Yeah, Joey Fauche, and is that uh, Jason Ramey sitting in the backs yep. for, the, uh, for the Devils? Uh, minute seven left in their penalties. LaJoy will take the face off against Tracy. Tracy out there with McCracken. Schneider and Thompson off the draw. Tracy wins it, it goes right in on goal. Conger sweeps it in the corner, Tracy after it. Poked away back to the point. Thompson flips it in behind for McCracken. Scotty's there, gets by a check. It goes into the corner to Tracy. Tracy, Pat controls it, back to the point. Here's Thompson, the wind, and he waited too long. The stick of the defenseman went out of his hands, and it's controlled by OFA, as Thompson uh, wound up a little too high for that shot. Now the Blue Devils try to clear. Tracy keeps it in, gets upended, gets back up again. Looking, shoots it right across the goal mouth. It comes to Schneider, 30 seconds left in the matching minors. Here's Brett centering the McCracken. He can't get the shot off, gets the puck, though, trying to flip it in the corner, and it comes free to Wilson. Wilson loses to McCracken. He bangs it around the boards for Schneider. Schneider takes it deep in the corner, goes to McCracken all by himself, in behind the net, looks to center it. Back to Thompson at the point. Thompson to Tracy. Tracy winds, fakes the shot, goes to Schneider's side of the net. Schneider, centering pass comes free, and we have a whistle. 
I don't know what the whistle was for. Yeah, he's gonna. I think he's gonna call Brian Bush for interference, if I'm oh. not mistaken. He flattened uh, Scotty McCracken in front of the net. Uh, in fact, that's when the when the pass came out. Uh, there was no one there because he had dumped the Scotty right in front. He's going to call him for interference, I think. But I was wondering why they blew the whistle. Messina had control of the puck. <laughs> well, that's twice they've done that. <laughs> well, that'll give uh, Messina a power play, a, a four on three for 10 seconds, then a five on four. And uh, again, Scotty McCracken was all by his lonesome in front of the net when that whistle blew and things with the puck. Give coaches nightmares on the faceoff. Number five, Greg LaJoy, let uh, Pat Tracy slip right by him and walks right in on the goaltender. Off the faceoff, back to the point. Mike Adams with it. Flips it to Thompson. Thompson winds his shot. Score. Ooh, there. He finally got that one off. Uh, Timmy Thompson, I don't know if it was tipped. I don't think so. There was a screen. Uh, Jeff Bigelow uh, was standing in front, but I think that one's going to go right uh, all the way to Timmy Thompson. And the, uh, as you mentioned before, it took a little long to get the shot off, and the, the OFA uh, forward knocked the puck off a stick. That time, he got it off in a hurry. And his shot, uh, we hearken and say, keep the shot low, low, low. He doesn't. He has a rising shot. It comes up, and it handcuffs a lot of goaltenders. It's, it starts uh, about at the knees, it seems like, and just comes up and right up underneath the chin. And that was another boomer. We've seen him do that two or three times this year. And all of a sudden, it's bulging that net behind. Three seconds left in the matching minors. Of course, that'll nullify the Messina power play, and the Raiders lead it two to nothing now. In behind, it's Scotty McRoberts flipping it ahead. Thompson at his blue line, right back the other way. Steps by a check. It comes to Fauche, who's out of the box now, into the zone, flipped ahead of him, and out to center ice. Whitcup is there to drop it back in the Messina zone. Thompson, Thompson moves it ahead, out to center ice. Eddie Davis trying to poke it ahead. Fauche comes back for it, picks it up, and flips it. In OFA territory, Myers in behind the net, looking to pick it up. Around the boards it goes, McRoberts. Oh, he gets leveled by Thompson. Davis picks up the loose puck, trying to slide it through to Whitcup, who is breaking across the slot, goes by him, back in the corner. Around the boards, Leahy Whitcup steals it, has it poked away, picked up there by Todd Hansen, who flips it off the boards out to center ice. Thompson right back in the zone, Myers with it for the Blue Devils, trying to get it out, hit Whitcup in the face. He tries to flip it ahead, but it goes to Rufa. And out the center ice to McRoberts. Thompson checks him into the boards, and the puck comes in the Messina zone. In behind the net, Mike Adams with it. Kind of a backhand pass to himself. Goes to Thompson now. Thompson has it poked away. McRoberts picks up the loose puck. Short side shot. Instead goes back to the point. Here's a drive. Well, I can't really call that a drive. That was a weak shot. Didn't get through. Thompson picks it up. He's going to take it across the blue line. Trying to slide it through for Fauche. Fauche hits the side of the net with it. Goes in behind. Myers. Fauche. Boshe couldn't come up with a loose puck. Myers does. Flips it ahead. More steps in front. Here's Tommy. Back to the point. And Labarge has it poked away. And here comes a chance for Rick, Ma Rick Roberts across the Messina blue line. Labarge breaks up the play, though. And the puck bounces to the blue line. And Tommy Moore gets it out to center ice. Bushy is there to dump it back in the Messina zone. Jason Labarge comes in behind his own net. Starts out left side, or right side, I should say. Headman pass. Bigelow. Bigelow waits, takes it across. Here's Jeffrey with it. Drop pass. Nice Morris shot. And it's knocked down in front by the defense. Oh, nice drop pass there by Bigelow. And Jake pulled the trigger, but a defenseman stepped in front of it. Here's Jake again in the slot. To Bigelow, his shot right on the save made and steered into the corner by the defenseman. Finally, big Brian Bushy picks it up, starts it out to center ice. Here's Bushy. He and Bigelow go together. Puck comes free to Labarge over to LeBac. We have a whistle. And the net's off its moorings down at the other end. I'll tell you, Jeff Bigelow faked everybody in this rink out, including this announcer. And this bo one. Both announcers. The only one he didn't fake out was Jake Morris. He expected that drop pass. That was one of the prettiest drop passes you've seen. Beautiful play out there. Faceoff will come uh, in the Messina zone, which is where the puck was when they blew the whistle for the net off its moorings. So Morris back to take the faceoff against Scott Williams. Williams out there with Catula and Valley. I assume that's Mike Valley's son's got to be. I think so. Michael, of course, a longtime uh, fixture here in Ogdensburg. And a football coach at one time, and he's coached other sports too. Here comes Messina Bigelow offsides. And the pass from Morris just caught him ahead of the, ahead of the blue line, and they'll face it off just outside. On that last goal, Jerry, it's a power play goal at the 117 mark. Uh, Timmy Thompson, his fourth goal of the year from uh, Mike Adams and uh, Jake Morris. And again, they executed the power play perfectly, moved it around. And again, Messina likes to use the defenseman. And that's what Albany did to him on their power play. They took the defense away. And uh, same thing with Suffern in that uh, Friday game. Uh, Messina adjusted to that a little bit. But 
The team like Albany, it's hard to adjust. <laughs> Here comes Messina. McCracken feeds Tracy, gets railed, but Tracy trying to flip it through, and he couldn't get it to Murphy. And blow OFA comes back out to center ice. Schneider loses it. That should have been an offside, but the puck comes into the slot. Picked up by Tracy. He loses it. Here's a shot and a save made by DeRushi. Puck in behind the net. Now Murphy throws a check. Puck sits there, and Tracy picks it up. Here comes Pat looking for McCracken. It's intercepted at the blue line. He kind of telegraphed that, but Messina gets it out to center ice. Here comes big Pat Tracy into the slot, flips by, and it goes in behind the net. And he and Bushy go together. Now Murphy throws a check. That's going to be a penalty on Messina as the puck goes down the ice. And icing will be called, but the penalty will be called on Murphy, I believe. No, Tracy? Arnie O'Reilly, he's, uh, he's going to call him for roughing. Uh... I thought it was Murphy, but now it's uh, Captain Pat Tracy. Uh, I'll tell you, Bruce DeRushy, as he's done many times this year, bailed out the Raiders that time. It was a turnover down in the, uh, in the Messina defensive end, and uh, Bruce DeRushy came up big. It was uh, the Augensburg player and Bruce, and uh, Bruce just stoned him. Messina sometimes, uh, when they get ahead and are controlling the play, has a tendency to be a little fast and loose with their passes. Yeah. And uh, that came back to haunt him that time, although, uh, as has been the case in the past, big number one between the pipes to break it up. So the Blue Devils on the power play into the Messina zone. Mike Adams picks it up, takes it in behind the net. Big blast goes funny bounce all the way down the ice. It went up on the puck boards and then went down again and took a funny bounce off a crevice, and down the ice it went. Blue Devil starts ahead. Ramey stolen away by Adams. Comes free to McCracken. McCracken, Adams. Adams back to McCracken. Here's Scotty. The pass goes to Adams, and Michael wasn't quite in deep enough. We have a whistle, and there's going to be an elbow call. This one's against the Blue Devils. Ooh. I think Bushy's going. To, that's Those hurt. You know, you're down by two. Uh, you're on the power play. Uh, no, it's not Bushy. Is it Myers is going to go? Uh, and uh, you take a, a penalty like that when... Uh, the play's gone the other way. Those really hurt. Those uh, give coaches uh, gray hairs. But again, credit Messina's penalty killers for putting pressure on yep. uh, McCracken and Adams that time, and uh, they kind of forced the penalty. They certainly did. They uh, they were right up there. Scotty McCracken was a burr under their saddle. He was really forechecking, as you mentioned, Mike Adams also. Getting back to Captain Pat Tracy, and he's done it twice here. In the, he's got into that 20, 25-foot range with the defenseman as a screen, and uh, he's elected to make a pass. Sometimes you've got to shoot that puck, uh, you know, use that defenseman as a screen. And I, uh, I think Coach Dan Moore and Tim Long will say, come on, Pat, uh, use that defenseman as a screen. Green, drill that puck. Off the faceoff, puck comes out to center ice. Back is Bigelow, picks it up in his own end, circles around. Long headman pass, goes to Morris, but it's knocked down, goes into the corner. Bushy and Morris. Oh, Bushy gave him a shot. And the puck comes around the boards, back to the point. Mike Adams, he's going to drive it, and he fired it not too wide. Back to Thompson. He one times it into the corner. It's intercepted by Bushy, and he has it poked away by Bigelow. Puck bouncing up into the penalty box and we'll have a face off at center ice. Brian Bushy, uh, he's uh, quite a specimen out there. I would say he's probably 6'2 and a uh, good uh, 205. Uh, he's a big specimen and Jake Morris bounced off of him like a rubber ball. But to Jake's credit, he was right back up on his skates. Corky's collision scoreboard says 2 0 Messina. We're in the second period and we're playing four on four right now. Here's Morris with a puck ahead to Thompson who just flips it in the OFA zone. Coming back for it is Todd Hansen, the defense, but a little trouble with it. Gets it around for Valley. Adams takes him out of the play. The puck comes in behind to Bushy. Bushy a little bit harder to move off the puck. Bigelow tries and does. Bigelow steals it, side of the net, but it's knocked away again by Hansen. He flips it ahead to center ice. Here comes OFA back the other way. Across the blue line it comes. Pretty good stick work, but the puck comes free as Adams took the man again, made a good play. Here's Thompson, head man out to center ice. Goes all the way by. It's going to go right in on the goalie, and Conger has to make the save and leave it for Bushy. Messina on a mini power play here, but OFA has the puck as Todd Hansen takes it in the Messina zone, gets by some traffic. Puck comes free. Back to Valley. He just sticks it into the corner as he had Mike Adams racing, or uh, Labarge that. No, that was Adams racing in on him. Puck around the boards now to Tommy Moore. Moore trying to flip it ahead. Goes to Tracy. Tracy slides it. Picks it up, takes it across, drop pass, goes back to Bushy. He's going to break back the other way. Bushy takes it across, has his stick raised by Murphy. Pretty artful with a stick right there, and Scotty Murphy. And around the boards it comes. Here's Mike Adams. Adams, head man pass right on the stick at Thompson. Timmy takes it across the blue line to Tracy. He knows he's going to follow it himself. 
Takes it right in front. It's knocked off his stick. He comes back after it, stays with it. But now it's dumped down the ice. We're even, so it'll be an icing call against the Blue Devils and move the faceoff back in their end. 8-0-1 left, second period. And on the Corky's Collision scoreboard, Messina leads it 2-zip. Timmy elected to carry at that time. He was uh, in the neutral zone, and he had a winger uh, stationed up on the left side and the right side who were both breaking. And what he did, he ineffectively, he took them right out of the play. He should have headmanned uh, to either one and continued on up if he wanted to get up in the play. But uh, you got to utilize uh, your wingers out there. You can't strand them, make them come to a complete stop along that blue line. Okay, the Fauché line against the Ramey line. Face off left side in OFA territory. Back to the point. Here's the Levac drive deflected just wide into the corner as I got Whitcomb stick on the way through. Puck around the boards to the blue line. Levac again. He tees it up. The shot right on. Rebound sits in the slot. Fauché backhander save. The rebound side of the net. And it's in behind. Whitcup now trying to center it. It goes to Eddie Davis. Davis flips it back to the point. Levac again trying to flip it through. It goes into the corner for Eddie Davis. Davis in behind. Going to chase it down himself. But getting there and flipping it back is the OFA defenseman. Kept in by Schneider momentarily. Bouncing back to the blue line. Davis keeps it in again. Flips it in behind the net. Back there is Myers. Around the boards. Levac, does he keep it in? He did. Puck comes. No, I guess he didn't. Whistle blows. And the faceoff will move outside the zone. That whole, Jerry, that whole scenario was set up. And again, Joe Carroll, uh, who used to harp and harp at me and uh, to the players about the importance of faceoffs, And uh, that was all set up when Joey Poche won the draw cleanly in the Augensburg end. And uh, the puck was stayed in for about 35 seconds and uh, caused wrecked havoc on the uh, OFA goaltender. And of course, whenever the puck is in the OFA zone, they can't be scoring. Okay, right. here comes Jake Morris across the blue line. Swept away, poke checked in to lay off sides against Messina. But OFA clears it. It comes by LaBarge. Coming back is Bigelow. Nice play. Jake Morris. Bounce pass to Bigelow. Beautiful pass. Here comes Jeffrey centering more, and he can't get a stick on it. Pass maybe a little high. Now Adams throws a check as the puck comes out to center ice. Big check by Michael. Jake Mo, nice stick handling. Takes it across. Here comes Morris. And finally, it's taken off his stick and back the other way comes Mike Myers. Myers into the Messina zone. Trying to go by LaBarge. Backhands it right in the crease with nobody there for the Blue Devils. Jake Morris picks it up. Catula trying to forecheck him. Morris trying to get it to a head to Tommy Moore. Feeds LaBarge, and here comes Jason. Jason gets by one. He's finally ridden out of the play as the puck slides in the OFA zone. Morris keeps it in. Morris now in the corner. Catula picks it up there. Moore trying to forecheck. Oh, he takes it right in front of his own net. Flips it back to the blue line. Not out of there. It comes to Jake. Here's Jake trying to flip it through to McCracken. Messina in the middle of a line change. Scotty with it in the corner. Draws a little bit of traffic there. And finally, it comes around the boards. Stepping in front of it is Tracy. Tracy lets it go to Mike Adams. Adams trying to center it. Goes back to LaBarge. The big slapper goes high over the net. Puck in the corner now. Puck comes free. Picked up there by OFA's Catula out to center ice. McCracken is there. Dumping it. Delay offsides. Messina clears. And it comes back to Myers again. He's going to just dump it. Doesn't get it out. Adams keeps it in. Here comes Mike centering pass to McCracken. McCracken in the faceoff circle to drive. Knocked down. Picked up there by the defense, and they don't get it out again. Here's Adams. He's going to shoot it, and he fires it wide. Back to the point. LaBarge flips it right in front, and finally it's... No, it's not out. Here's the shot by Tracy, and the save made up into the screen, and Messina, every time it looked like OFA was going to clear, Messina kept it in, and I think uh, perhaps Conger thinks he's in a firing zone. I'll tell you, the guy that kept it in on 95% of those occasions, what a shift out there. Number 12, Mike Adams. He played like there were triplets out there. He pinched down one time. Number 26, Scotty uh, Williams, went to receive the pass coming around the boards. Mike pinched down and put him on his back. But Mike Adams was all over that ice. What a shift. Okay. Fauché's line right back out. Back to the point. Schneider flips it in the corner. Around the boards it goes for Chris Wilson. Wilson's pass up along and out to center ice. Timmy Thompson is there. Trying to headman it. It's knocked down. And coming back is Fauché to break up the play. Now OFA takes it across, flipping it into Ramey. Ramey gets it in front. Here's a chance, and they couldn't get the shot off. Puck comes free. It's fired in behind the net by Ramey. Back to the point, kept in by the Blue Devils. Right in front, they jam at it. Comes back out to center ice, back in again, and offsides will be called on the Devils. Ramey with a good opportunity, but he backhanded it wide. Oh, glorious opportunity. Sent in alone. Uh, the Raiders got caught up watching the play on the strong side. The weak side defenseman and the weak side wing that time, Eddie Davis. Uh, they both felt it was coming out of the zone, and they kind of relaxed, and it was Ramey uh, that Eddie Davis left his check 
The Blue Devils stole it on the strong side and sent it across. Ooh, Off big the miss. face off. Ramey takes it into LaJoy. Here's LaJoy in the corner. Here's LaJoy. Centers it. Goes back to the point. Bouncing puck. They jam at it. And it comes free into the corner again. Still in the Cena zone. LeVac after it. LeVac flips it in behind for Jason LaBarge. LaBarge ridden out of the play, but he comes up with it anyway. Headman pass comes out to center ice by everybody. Poked back into the Messina zone. Delay offsides. They clear it. LeVac takes it out ahead to Morris. Morris steps by the defense. Here comes Jake in the corner. Ridden off the play. Goes after it again. He comes up with it. Looks to center it. He's taken out of the play. Puck comes free. And it's back out to center ice. Down the ice, Spicer with it. Flips in the zone, LaJoy shot. Handcuffed to Rushy, but he makes the save. And the puck comes free in the corner. They jam for it there. Comes to the side of the net, poked away. Puck in the corner again, LaJoy. Back to the point, Wilson. Wilson shot, knocked down, goes off a leg. Goes back to the Bushy at the other point. His shot goes in behind the net. And the puck comes free to Tommy Moore. And Moore, finally, no, he doesn't get it out. LeVac, LeVac, loses it in his skates, finds it again. Dumps it, and it comes out to center ice. Now the puck along the boards. Jake Morris with it, drops it to LeVac. LeVac goes over to LaBarge. LaBarge headman pass on the stick of Murphy. Murphy just flips it in the zone. It's right back out again. Tracy. Pat Tracy drops it back to LaBarge. Has a little problem with it. And it comes to Tracy again. Tracy goes over on the other side to LeVac. LeVac headman on the stick of Tracy. He directs it in the OFA zone. Chases it. Conger's out of his net. Murphy the shot. And the net's off its moorings. As Tracy got ridden into the net, as Murphy had a wide open net to shoot at. He did, and Conger getting back in, slid backwards, skate first towards the net, and knocked the, uh, the net off the pins. Uh, <laughs> almost like it was intentional, but it, it wasn't. One thing the Raiders have to adjust, uh, although most of the play this period has been up in the OFA end, and when it gets down to the Messina end, though, they're down 2 nothing, and the Blue Devil defensemen are really pinching down a long way, so Messina's going to have to adjust to that and realize it and then just tip the puck. I think they can create a lot of breaks. Here's Mike Adams at the point. His shot, the save made by Conger, goes into the corner. Tracy flips it in behind for McCracken. Scotty looking to go back to the point. It goes by everybody back into the Messina zone. Brett Schneider after it. Flips it ahead for Adams. Michael starts it to the winger, goes into the zone. Kept in there by Tracy, has a knack of doing that, doesn't he? Into the corner, Tracy after it. Steps by a check, gets up in, it gets back up again. Controls it in the corner. He's got a lot of traffic on him. It kicks free. McWilliams, he gets it out to center ice. Here's Rufa with it. Headman pass to Lehu. Lehu in the Messina zone. Gets a shot off, the save made. Puck kicks free to Adams. Michael picking up the loose puck. Centers it. Back to the blue line. Doesn't get it out of there. Now Adams is going to follow up and take it out himself. Looking to, oh, feeds Murphy beautifully, splits the D. Here's Murphy, backhander, and a save made by Conger. What a beautiful pass by Mike Adams. He keeps it in at the point, gets a shot off. Hits McCracken, his shot right on, the save made. Oh, uh, almost kept in. Now OFA is going to break it out of there. Rufa across the blue line, in behind, poke checked away nicely by Schneider. Sorry about that, Dave, not trying to push out of here. <laughs> and the puck underneath, the OFA player under, and it comes free. Kick back to the blue line, Murphy can't get it out of there. It goes to Mike Adams again. Adams, head man, nice to McCracken. McCracken ridden off the play. Still 2 0 Messina. Adams throws a check. Fauche picks up the loose puck, takes it in the slot, the backhander right on. And the save made by Conger. Puck comes free in the corner to Todd Hansen around the boards. Davis steals it, flips it in behind. It comes in the corner for Bushy. Adams is going to ride him into the boards. The puck kicks free. Fauche steps in front, the backhander save made by Conger. The rebound in front. Whitcup shot another save. They jam at it, and Conger covers it up. And I'll tell you what, a good shift for that third line again. And uh, Mike Adams, he is just playing fantastic tonight. Well, that old cliche, playing like a man possessed. He is really playing like a man possessed out there. He has just had one whale of a game up to this point. Uh, and you alluded to a little while ago, he made a pass, a head man pass that uh, Scotty Murphy, that was just, he stole the puck uh, at the blue line and hit Scotty Murphy, breaking between the OFA defensemen, sent him in free. Scotty made a nice move. Uh, just uh, Greg Conger, I'll guess him. Scotty went to the backhand, and Conger made a nice save. But he just had a nice shift out there by that third unit of uh, Joey Fosha, Eddie Davis, and Bobby Whitcup. Jake Morris's line out there off the faceoff. Puck comes out to the blue line. Ahead to LaJoy. He comes in on LeBac. His shot, the save made by DeRushing, and it's picked off by LeBac. Takes it into the corner, looking to move it out of there. But it's kept in by LaJoy. Kicks it into the corner. After it there, in the corner, LeBac. Comes away with it, trying to get it ahead. Oh, nice play made by Bigelow. Bigelow breaks it ahead to Morris. Morris Morris takes it by. Here comes Jake. Jake looking. He's going to take it himself. 
trying to feed it through the middle, gets it back again, drops to Love back, the big drive, the shot, nice save again by Conger. Now Bushy, Tommy Moore's not afraid of him either. He throws a nice check, puck comes free in the slot, Bigelow, poke checked away. And now they're going to try to break free, and it's going to go down the ice, and an icing will be called. As they try to get Jason Ramey breaking free, but the pass was too far away. He was pretty well covered anyway. Big lift for the Raiders tonight, and he's still not back to the top of his game, but uh, having Brian Levac back, he certainly doesn't play like a freshman. Uh, he plays uh, he plays more like a senior. He's going to uh, be one outstanding prospect by the time uh, he gets to be a senior. Well, he's just a freshman already. Uh, he's one of the biggest defensemen Messina has, and, uh, you know, uh, I mean, Adams tonight is playing about 12 feet tall, but... Uh, I'll tell you what, LeBac looks good for his first game back. And Brett Schneider, uh, Mike Adams' uh, partner over there, uh, is no slouch either. Face off left side, OFA zone. Tracy will draw, I think that's Chris Rufa out there, to face off for the Blue Devils. Off the draw, face off, goes into the circle, back to the point. Adams can't keep that one in. And racing for it, here comes Lehu, centering pass, knocked down by who else? Mike Adams. Adams starts back, head man pass. Murphy couldn't find it. Nice pass. Murphy now gets up with it. They jam along the red line. Nobody seems to want the puck. Comes to the Messina blue line. McCracken is there. Drops it back for Schneider. Schneider goes to Adams. And Adams looks. Headman pass Murphy, but he was tied up. They wave the icing off for that reason. And the puck comes in behind with 30 seconds left. And Messina ahead. Two to nothing. OFA flips it up into the wall. And we'll have a faceoff. Uh, let's see. Faceoff should be deep in OFA territory. But we'll see where they rule it. I think they're going to bring it back down, yep. So on the Corky's Collision scoreboard, Messina leads it 2 to nothing with uh, 27 seconds remaining in the second period. 2 to nothing. Uh, you would think the score would be higher than that, but Messina, talking with Stan Moore before the game, he says, you know, we just don't score a lot of goals, so oh, we got to play good defense. That's right, and they've, they've been controlling the play, though, and they've taken the crowd out. The, the crowd's uh, bleach has kind of filled up a little bit, Jerry. They're not in the game. Off the faceoff, the puck comes to Schneider at his own blue line. Goes to Adams. Adams head man, Tracy. Oh, he just got railed, but he gets it to Murphy anyway. Scotty with it. Can't find the handle. Goes back to the point. Kept in. Schneider, nice play. Here's the shot right in front. Murphy gets a shot right on from deep in the corner. Bouncing puck with five seconds left. Controlled by the Blue Devils. Leahy racing for it. Two seconds, one second. And Adams, or I should say Schneider, is back to play, break up the play at the buzzer anyway. So we go to the locker room, Messina leading by two goals, two to nothing, the score after two periods of play here. And uh, tell you what, uh, Messina continued right where they left off at the end of the first period and maybe even a little better of the play in that second period. Yeah, I think they uh, upped the tempo a little bit more. They uh, a little quicker out there, and I think they had uh, a little wider territorial edge in play. Uh, we'll wait to see what Joey hands over on the shots, but I know they had a, a good margin uh, territorial play. Just at the end, uh, Captain Pat runs then ups, and it's been a long season for Coach Donnie Clark uh, and the OFA Blue Devils. They're not playing that badly here tonight, and uh, the thing they're doing they didn't the, the first time against Messina is they're, for the most part, staying out of the penalty box. They have picked up some penalties, but not as bad as that first game we saw. Them. Yeah. And I understand there's some other games where they've had uh, penalty problems. And you can't uh, constantly do that, uh, taking foolish penalties. It just disrupts the flow of the game. Sure, uh, sure. As we've mentioned many times, and the uh, guys sitting on the bench uh, that don't kill penalties or on power plays are losing a regular shift, and so the other kids are working too much, and it just uh, breaks the whole continuity of the game up. Uh, no way. You can't win hockey games if you've got a man in the penalty box all the time. Okay. The teams are out, and we're ready to go with the third period. Again, 2 nothing Messina. On the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard, Tracy's line out against uh, the Ramey line. And the puck is dropped, and we are off. Off the faceoff, puck controlled by Murphy, and he flips it in OFA territory. Big Brian Bushy back there after it. McCracken throws a check. Uh, he didn't quite stop the puck, and Ramey picks up the loose puck. Here's Jason now. He gets railed. The puck bounces into the Messina zone and into the corner. After it is Brett Schneider. Schneider flips it over to McCracken, who's in the corner. Headman pass to Tracy, doesn't get it out, kept in at the point, flipped by Wilson in the corner. Now Schneider steals a nice play by Brett Schneider. He gets it out to center ice. McCracken trying to come up with it. He can. Wilson flips it back in the Messina zone. And why that wasn't an icing, I don't know. Nobody touched it, but uh, puck comes around the boards to Murphy. Murphy, headman to Thompson. Thompson trying to get out of the zone. It's deflected, but he follows up. Still doesn't get it out. It comes to Murphy. Murphy loses it in a skate. 
It comes back to Thompson. Thompson flips to Murphy, and he didn't see it, but McCracken is there. Knock it ahead down the ice. That'll be an icing against Messina. A couple of Raiders that time uh, turning up ice with their back to the play. You've got to know where that uh, puck is at all times. I used to refer to it uh, putting your backside to the play. You can't do that. You have to, you have to know, uh, you know where that uh, puck is and if uh, get yourself in position to receive that pass. Uh, is, that, is that one of those little things that annoys a coach? Yeah, that's, uh, that's a big thing that annoys a coach. <laughs> Jake Morris's line out against the Rufa line. Off the face, the puck comes to Michael Adams. Mike? Trying to flip it around the boards. He gets deflected, gets it back again. Now he's going to start out right side. Headman of Bigelow. Jeffrey gets it out to center ice, comes back in, but Adams is there. Here's Mike. Adams has been there a lot tonight. Flipping it in behind the net. Goes to Tommy Moore, corner right side. Trying to center it to Morris. It's knocked down by the center man, Rufa. Can't get it out of the zone. Back to the point. Adams shot. Deflected. Goes in the corner. Big defenseman Mike Myers after it. He's going to dump it down the ice. I don't believe that's going to go far enough for icing, though. No, they wave it off. And it comes to Jason Labarge. Labarge starts out right side of his own net. Here's Labarge. Long head man pass. He's got the hanger in uh, Morris, but it would have been offsides. And it's touched by Big Bigelow, so they'll face it off just outside OFA territory. 13-17 left third period. And on the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard, the score remains Messina 2, OFA 0. As we look down to our right, uh, Jerry, one of the most uh, dedicated and uh, an excellent sports writer for the Advance News up here in Augensburg. Uh, Dave Shea is standing on a stepladder uh, uh, so he can get up above the glass taking pictures. I think David's been doing uh, his job longer than I've been doing mine. Oh, he does, and he does an outstanding job. He sure does. I remember he was one of the first guys I met in sports. Here comes Ramey across the blue line in the OFA zone, ridden off the play in behind the net. Oh, hard check thrown there. The puck comes free. LeVac, nice play. He flips it around for McCracken. And Scotty, head man, doesn't get it out. Now it comes out, center ice, controlled by the Devils. Again, they turn it right back the other way. Spicer, across the blue line to LaJoy, trying to center it. Brett Schneider takes it away. McCracken helps out. They jam for it. It comes free to Tracy. Tracy doesn't get it out. Here's Bushy. Bushy fakes the shot, has it poked away. Puck comes in the corner. And after it is Schneider again for Messina. Here's Brett with it, ahead to McCracken. He just lets it go. And down the ice, they're going to wave off the icing as it comes in behind the net. Big goalie Conger flipping it around for Wilson. He's ridden out of the play. Murphy flips it behind the net for McCracken. McCracken goes to Tracy. Back to McCracken. Here's McCracken centering pass to Tracy. Can't get the shot off. And Bushy intercepts his pass out to the blue line. Steps by the Messina defense. Drives one. It's deflected up into the screen by, I think, uh, Brian Levac got a stick on it. Faceoff will come high in the Messina zone. Saw something out there in that last shift in that first unit that I haven't seen, if, uh, if at all, maybe once or twice all year long. Uh, Pat uh, Tracy and, and uh, Scotty McCracken both playing the puck on the, and when it's in their defensive end instead of the man. You don't see that too often. And uh, I'm sure the coaching staff will say, fellas, when it's inside that uh, 60 feet in there, play the man. Off the faceoff. Puck control by OFA. Back to the point. Here's Meyer's shot. Knocked down in front. Comes back to the blue line. Here comes Foshe. Drives by Myers. Feeds Davis. Davis to Whitcup. Whitcup trying to feed it through. It goes into the corner. Now Whitcup and Hansen go after it. Puck kicks free. Coming back for it is Scotty McRoberts. McRoberts around the boards. In there is, I think that's Davis. No, that's Davis going after it now. That was Foshe in the corner. Now the puck dumped down the ice by OFA. Well, that'll be an icing call against the Blue Devils and move the faceoff back inside their territory. 11.42 left in period number three. On the Bob Post State Farm Insurance scoreboard, it's two zip. Messina. Kind of, uh, it's, I won't say flat right now. Both teams uh, not playing uh, up to their game right now, and it's uh, a lull in the action, so to speak, Jerry. Yeah. I guess is the best way to describe it. Uh, Devil's making a change right now. Yeah, the first two periods, pretty wide open. Uh, this third period has slowed down, settled down a little bit. Foshe's line will be out there against the Scott Williams line. Williams with Valley and Petula. Off the face, Foshe flips it in the corner, picking it up as Bushy. Bushy, Foshe goes after him again. Bushy skates by him, gets it to the blue line, and it hits the official. Well, otherwise, it would have been icing. Now the puck flipped in the Messina zone. Delay offsides called. Blue Devils clear it. Timmy Thompson picks it up. <laughs> Backhands it around the boards. Kind of misfired on it. Eddie Davis after it. He gets ridden into the boards. They move it along. Comes right in the slot. Mike Adams is there. And Adams <laughs> ran into... Reese Jeanette again. Michael with a puck behind his own net starts out left side. Here comes Adams. Headman goes to Thompson off Whitcup, and Thompson's going to flip 
in the OFA zone. In the corner it goes Bushy and Whitcup. Now Whitcup throws a check. Boucher picks up the loose puck to Davis in the point. Deflected back to the point. Nice play by Michael to keep it in. Thompson the drive and it goes off a leg. Wilson stepped in front of that. Ouch. And it comes to Bushy. And Bushy starts out for OFA. Here comes Bushy. Out to center ice. Ahead to Valley. Valley takes it across off sides as Williams ahead of the play. And I wouldn't be a bit surprised to see both teams change up. Jeanette is still rubbing his arm where uh, Mike Adams ran into him. John Valley made a little extra shift at the uh, blue line, and uh, number 26, Scott Williams, didn't uh, expect him to make that little uh, deke and uh, created the offside. Play okay. back on. Off the faceoff, it comes to Bigelow in the corner. Bigelow looking, falls down, gets up again, jams at it, has it poked away, and the Blue Devils break it out to center ice, but Labarge is there to knock it down. Ahead to Bigelow to add or Morris. Morris, Jake, takes it across to Tommy Moore. Got knocked down, but he got it to Moore anyway. Here's Tommy in the corner to Bigelow right in front. Morris, the shot. Nice save. Big save by Conger on Jake Morris. And back the other way comes the Blue Devils. The head man of Spicer way ahead of him and is picked up by Labarge right back in the OFA zone off a stick. They're going to blow icing, apparently, and move the faceoff back inside Messina territory. Great save by Greg Conger off of Jake Morris. And again, a three-way combination, that Raider line. Tommy Moore creating the waves in the corner. And Jeff Bigelow picked it up and centered it out to Jake Morris. And he waited, waited, waited. And uh, Greg Conger just uh, outweighted him. Nice save by uh, Mr. Conger. Tracy's line against the Ramey line. Face off right side of the Messina zone after the icing. Off the draw. Comes back to Adams. Another face off for Mr. Tracy. He flips it around the boards. Murphy, Murphy, head man of Tracy, and it goes by everybody down the ice. And they're going to wave the icing off there, I would think. And in behind the net, Murphy throws a check. The puck comes free to Myers, loses it. Now Tracy in there digging for it. Finally coming back is Jason Ramey, and he starts out. Oh, McCracken knocks him down. The puck picked up by Tracy. Quick wrist shot goes around the boards. Just missed. Here's Murphy with it. Murphy with it. Gets it kicked away. And we got a penalty. And who's the penalty on? It's got to be on OFA, I would think, because Messina was controlling the puck. And Messina will go on the power play. Arnie O'Reilly making the call. He uh, hasn't given a signal yet. He's uh, yelled at someone and skating towards I think, the goal. <laughs> I think he called Hanson. No, maybe he didn't call a penalty. Uh, maybe not. Maybe a hand pass. Uh, the, the penalty whistle. box is not open, possibly. You now the faceoff is down inside. I tell you, uh, Jason Ramey must be a pretty solid character. Scotty McCracken gave him a lick and just bounced off of him like a rubber ball. Now the yeah, gate's opening. He is. He is that very, very fine running back for OFA okay, and their football right. team. He's solid because yeah. Scotty really bounced off him. Number five, Greg LaJoy is going in the box. He's okay. finally uh, made the call. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, we'll, we'll find out right now. Oh, went to the goalie. the goalie. Conger gets called for roughing off the faceoff. Out to center ice. Mike Adams couldn't come up with it. It had bounced over his stick, but he's got it now. He leaves it for Fauche. Puck comes away from Fauche, bouncing around. Adams, or I should say Thompson, gets it out to center ice. Bushy with it now. He's going to flip it to the Messina line, but instead it goes up into the OFA bench. And uh, the faceoff apparently will move inside OFA territory as it went off an OFA stick. Morris Bigelow and uh, Joey Fauche on this power play. Off the face off, puck goes into the corner. After it, both players, and Bushy comes away with it. Now Morris steps in front, trying to feed it to Bigelow, but it comes back to the point. Here's Thompson. Thompson flipping it over to Mike Adams. Adams drops it back to Thompson right in the middle. He's going to pass to Morris. Morris moving it around the horn. Back it goes to Thompson. Thompson sliding it right in the slot. It comes free in front to Fauche. Fauche to Morris in front. To back to Fauche. He shoots right on. The save made. And Bigelow just got railed in front twice. And Ritter. goaltender Conger holds on. Jeff's uh, showing a little bit of frustration. He thought he had another goal. It was uh, The puck was laying right there, and he went to put the stick on it. And uh, Craig Conger stuck that big glove out and picked it right away from him. But he had the wide open net. Nice save by Greg Conger. Joey White just informed us how that penalty came about that we both missed. Mr. Uh, Stir the Pot, Scotty McCracken, was holding on to Greg Conger's stick in front of the net. And uh, Conger got mad and punched him. And that's uh, the referee saw that. <laughs> they always see the retaliation. Sure they Dave. do. 
And it doesn't surprise me that Scotty would be the instigator in there. <laughs> He's back out there with Tracy and Murphy off the face, back to the point, Thompson. Thompson flips it to Adams, skates it, skates it, skates it, the wind, the shot. Nice save, Conger, and he covers up. Oh boy, no one picked up Mike Adams, and he just drifted down, kept looking, 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 skating in farther. He was pro probably in about 25 feet, and he didn't get his best shot, but he had a lot on it, and uh, Greg Conger held his ground, made a nice save. He gave up a little rebound, but he jumped on it. Off the faceoff, puck dumped down the ice by OFA. And it goes back into the Messina zone in behind. DeRushi stops it, leaves it for Thompson. Timmy Thompson now starts it ahead for Murphy. Murphy cross ice pass to Adams. Adams takes it in the zone. Flips it around the boards, around the horn it goes. Murphy in the corner, feeds it to Pat Tracy. Tracy back to the point, goes over to Adams by way of Thompson. He skates it again, flick wrist shot, and the save made again by Greg Conger. We're down to eight seconds in the power play. Give and go, and Tracy flips it in behind the net. Goes around to Murphy. Murphy back to Adams at the point. Mike fakes the shot, goes to Thompson. Thompson trying to feed it through to Murphy, goes in behind the net. Murphy centers it right in the slot, back to the point. Thompson winds the shot through a screen, deflected just wide. McCracken picks up the rebound, shovels it to Murphy in behind the net. Murphy back in front, trying to get it to McCracken, but it's knocked down, goes back to the blue line. Thompson couldn't keep it in. Puck goes along the boards. Where is it? Thompson gets a piece of it, and finally it's flipped into the Messina zone. Delay offsides called, but they get onside. And it comes to Tracy. Tracy in behind the net. Stick handles out of trouble. Starts it ahead. Gives it up. But following up is Thompson that time. And Timmy comes up with a puck now. Has it poked away. In the slot. They jam at it. Puck sits there. Where is it? Comes free in front. Here's a quick shot. And the save made by DeRushi in behind. McCracken flips it around the boards. Doesn't get it out of there. Here's a shot into the slot. Knocked down by Thompson. He starts it out. Takes it out of trouble out to center ice. Here's Thompson. In across the blue line, offsides will be called on Messina as he went in before the puck did. Yeah, he put himself offside. Timmy Thompson lost the puck just as he, just before he crossed the blue line and uh, preceded the puck in the zone. A uh, couple more gray hairs sprouting uh, on Stanley's head. A couple of turnovers down there. The uh, hell on, hell on again. We've said it a hundred times. We'll say it 101. Last man back. Don't diddle with the puck. Move it. Dump it out of there. <laughs> off the faceoff. Davis after it. He's in the zone ridden off the play, and the Blue Devils move it back out to center ice. Here comes Jason Ramey across the blue line. His pass intercepted. Nice play, Whitcup. Headman goes to Joey Foshe. Foshe cross ice pass to Eddie Davis. Davis takes it in the zone. Davis flips it in the corner around the boards. Whitcup goes in after it, and getting there first is Bushy, and Bushy starts out left side of the net. His pass up on the wing goes to Spicer. Spicer ahead to Ramey. Ramey flipping it to LaJoy, and he's ridden off the puck, and Schneider picks it up. Here's Brett Schneider with it. Ahead to Davis, doesn't get it out of there. Bushy keeps it in at the point, has it poked away. They jam for it, comes free. After it is Catula, he loses it right in front. Picked up by Schneider. Feeding Davis again. Davis trying to get it out of the zone. Spicer takes it away, poke checked away by Schneider. Now Spicer, or uh, Davis will flip it around on the other side. They'll try Whitcup. Whitcup, does he get it out of there? No, but Fauché does. As the defenseman tried to keep it in, he couldn't. Here's Fauché down the left wing. He just ridden out of the play by Spicer, and the puck picked up in behind by Todd Hansen. Or that's Bush, Brian Bushy, rather. Bushy's long head man pass on the wing to Heath Catula. Catula drops back to Bushy. He's got Morris on him for checking. Puck along the boards, Bushy ridden in, and it's dumped by Catula in the Messina zone. Schneider after it there, in behind the net, throws a check, comes away with a puck. Still 2 0 Messina on the post farm insurance uh, scoreboard. Out it comes to Morris. Morris waits for it. Delay penalty against OFA. Morris shot deflected just wide by Bigelow. He holds on, trying to dump it back in front, but OFA touches it and will have another faceoff. Messina will go back on the power play with 521 left in the third period. The Raiders are leading it 2 0 on the Bob Post scoreboard. A lot of action there without a whistle. Great job by Bobby Whitcup uh, tipping that puck by the uh, OFA uh, defenseman who had pinched down to create the 2 on 1 up the other way. But you know, See the coaching staff are sitting there. They know they're controlling the play, but they're only up two nothing. They need actually one more goal uh, to put it out of reach. Put it out of reach. Uh, Augensburg gets the next goal. They're right there. Five twenty one left in the ball game. Two nothing Messina. Bushy getting the penalty, tripping the call. So Messina goes back on a power play with five twenty one remaining in the third period. We're going to have the uh, Pat Tracy aggregation out there on this power play. Tracy, McCracken, and Murphy 
And we've got uh, at the points, Thompson and Adams. Off the faceoff, the puck kicked, but it's out and down the ice. Tracy tried to kick it ahead, but uh, Lehu got a piece of it. Lehu out there along with Rufa. And let's see here. We'll pick up the defenseman in a moment as Thompson moves it ahead to McCracken. McCracken across the blue line, flips it in behind the net. Back there is Myers. Myers, Murphy takes it away. Myers gets up again. Now pinching in is Tracy. Tracy and Myers jam for it. Tracy kicks it ahead, falls down on top of it. And the faceoff will move outside the zone as Tracy is the one who tied it up. He got it upended by uh, Myers and fell right on the puck. That last faceoff, again, uh, big faceoff, we're going to say, as we said every game, big faceoff. And Pat Tracy won the draw. He, uh, he tied up his man, and as he proceeded to kick it back, the uh, OFA defenseman uh, stepped in and intercepted. Didn't but get enough skate on it, I guess. Didn't get enough skate. <laughs> okay, Tracy will face off against Rufa. Puck dumped down the ice by OFA. That time uh, the Blue Devils won the draw, and Thompson comes back. OFA's got Lehu in there for checking, but Messina moves it ahead out to center ice. Goes by McCracken, dumped right back in the zone. Thompson after it. Lehu's in there after him. Thompson flips it to Adams. Michael starts it out. Head man to Tracy. Pat breaks. Going to split the D. Splits right by the defense. Gets hauled down. Gets a shot off anyway. And the save is made by Conger. Tracy, again, we've seen him do that several times this year as Pat all of a sudden turns on the Jets and just blew by him. They had to trip him. He's like Jake Morris. He can shift. He can find another gear. You think he's uh, operating at full throttle, and he's got uh, a couple more gears left, and he danced right between the defense, took the head man pass, and was going in alone, and they had to bring him down and uh, chalk that one up uh, to a good penalty. Uh, 37 seconds left in the first minor, and... Uh, Number, uh, I can't, what number was it? I can't pick them up. So they finally got. Okay, that's going to be Hanson. Hanson, Todd Hanson. Raiders Messina, a two-man advantage, comes back to Adams at the point, flips it to Thompson. He skates, it skates, it drives it, and it's deflected. Comes to McCracken in the corner. McCracken flips it to Thompson. Back to McCracken. McCracken loses it, and it's Myers' side of that. McCracken, short side shot. They jam, and somehow Conger kept it out of the net. I don't know how, but he did as Myers, who had the puck, gave it up to McCracken right in front of the net. It ended up in the net, Jerry. It was, a, uh, fortunately for the Blue Devils, they got a quick whistle. I don't think Conga really had control all the time. And Scotty Murphy was standing right off the crease, and uh, he juggled, juggled, and the official lost sight of it. And it was a good call, but uh, uh, he gave it up, and, and Murphy tucked it in just after the whistle blew. Off the faceoff, the puck comes to McCracken, back to the point. Thompson, Thompson trying to flip it through in the middle but it's not out of there, kept in by Thompson again. Steps into the slot, the drive, and it goes off a leg in the corner. Myers, that had to hurt. Ramey lifts it on the backhand up into the wall, and the faceoff will be where they don't want it, no FA territory. Seven seconds left in the first penalty, so Messina wants to win the draw and control the puck and get a good shot off here while there's still two men up. If you want to feel something frightening, uh, poor Greg Conger sitting back in the crease and Timmy Thompson uh, with traffic in front picked up the loose puck. The Blue Devils down two men. He skated into the top of the circle, and that's fear. When you know when, you, when he, he possesses that hard rising shot anyway uh, and you, you can't see him, boy, that uh, takes a lot of courage to stand in there. Face off right side, OFA zone, off the draw. Puck controlled by Fauché. He loses it, and Morris, and Morris comes away with it. One penalty is up. They get one back. Here's a shot by Schneider just wide. Puck goes to Morris in the corner. Messina on a single power play. Back to Adams at the point. He gets upended. Can't get the shot off. Stays with it. Mike Adams flips it to Morris, and it bounced into the corner. Jake, oh, he gets railed from behind. Bigelow picks up the puck. Back to the point. Schneider. Schneider's shot is deflected high into the corner. Myers picks it up. Along the boards, back to the point. Adams, Adams to Schneider, fakes the shot, backhands it into the corner. Bigelow and Morris go after him. Morris takes a whack at him. Myers picks up the puck, lifts it, and it still doesn't get out of there. Oh, nice job by Adams to keep it in. He flips it into the corner for Jake Morris. Morris with it. Back to Bigelow. Bigelow looking to work the give and go to Morris right in front. Conger gets a stick in front of it. It comes free to Fauché. Back to the point. Adams flips it to Schneider. Schneider's drive deflected right on. The save made. It came to Fauché. Couldn't get a stick on it. Mike Adams pinches in. Flips it in behind the net. Goes after it. In the corner. It goes to Bigelow. And finally, OFA. They get it out to center ice. Backhanding it in the zone. Here comes a chance and the shot right on. And the save made. As getting the shot on was uh, Phil Cole. I believe that's his first shift on the ice tonight. 
and he gets a good shot off, not a hard one, but DeRushi is right there to make the save. Raiders got caught up in the excitement of the offensive quest. The 240 to go in the game, protecting a 2-0 lead. Uh, Mike Adams pinched down, and no one filled on the point. You had four Raiders inside and only one defenseman back, and uh, well, you don't want to do that in this stage of the game. Okay, we've got uh, McRoberts out there centering, kind of a hybrid line here. Puck lifted, high in the air, bouncing to center ice, hit McCracken in the back. Bushy has it poke checked away. Murphy, Murphy feeds it through, gets it back again, now gets to McCracken. Murphy, sharp angle shot. <laughs> Trying to hit the goaltender and bounce it in. Now Levac with it, makes a good move, gets by one, gets by two. Levac in the corner goes after it, has it taken away from him by Rufa. Levac throws a check. Puck still in the corner, now who's in there but Scotty McCracken, Bushy. Bushy ties him up, puck kicks free, Murphy. Here's Murphy, goes back to the point. Thompson, Thompson's going to drive it, deflected. No, that was kicked by the goaltender, and it's out to center ice. Thompson's there, back across the blue line. He throws a check. Puck comes free to Bushy, and the OFA player wonders which way the truck went on that one as Thompson threw a hard one. Now Tracy rides the OFA man off the puck, takes the puck. What do we have here? Arnie O'Reilly's looking with that uh, strong eye. He's going to finger somebody. Uh, Pat Tracy? Apparently, yeah, the Raider uh, gate is open. Kind of surprised. Calling him for holding. Uh, the Raiders, have, this is a set play off that last faceoff down on their own end. This is twice they've done it. They win the draw clean back to Mike Adams, and he and the, the wing and the center break, uh, one, at least one if not two, and the defenseman flips the puck high up in the air, and it's almost been successful on both occasions. Just missed, and they're going to work that uh, successfully one of these games. Okay, OFA going on the power play with 150 left in the third period. Still 2-0 Messina on the Bob Post scoreboard. Let's see, we have Jake Morris out there along with uh, Jeff Bigelow. Now Adams comes out and Timmy Thompson. Jake will take the face off against uh, Jason Ramey. Ramey out there with LaJoy and also Spicer. Back at the points, we've got Hanson. You've got to have Bushy at the other point, I would think. Yep. Devils need a quick one. Here's Thompson with it, whacking at it, bounces to the blue line, gets out to center ice. Jake almost stole it, almost got a piece of it. Headman goes to Ramey. Morris now bothering him. He goes back to Bushy, takes it across. Bigelow steals it. Flip, sit down the ice. In behind now. Here comes Hansen with it. Todd Hansen moving along the puck boards out to center ice. Morris trying to forecheck a little bit. Puck comes in behind, and I think they called an offsides on OFA as uh, somebody over on the right side was off. Just off uh, the wing on that side. I'm trying to pick up the number. Uh, maybe it uh, was number 10, uh, Jason Ramey. Ramey. Yeah. yeah. Just offside by... Yeah, he's a solid Just kid, a that Ramey. He is. One he's heck of a running back in football. Built low to the ground, but solid. I guess a little fire plug. Morris wins the draw and controls the puck. Flips ahead to Bigelow. Builds up ahead of steam, breaking in left side. Short side shot. Big save made by Conger on the shorthanded attempt. Back the other way comes OFA. Hard check thrown there on LaJoy. Puck slides in the Messina zone. Stopped by Thompson. Backhand doesn't get it out. Here's a shot right on. And the save made by Messina. To Rushy. Puck comes free now. Thompson. Thompson in the corner now. Jams for it as we're under a minute left to play. Puck comes free to OFA. Thompson did a good job to get out of the way now. Back to Bushy at the point. Bushy trying to feed it through to LaJoy. Poked away from him. Bushy in the corner. Ramey. Ramey dumps it in behind the net. Adams whacks at it. Does he get it out? Nope, not quite. Puck in the corner. Right back to Michael. This time he finds the hole and dumps it down the ice. In behind the net. About 30 seconds left in the third period. 10 seconds in the penalty. Breaking back is Bushy. Adams checks him, knocks the puck away. It comes to Fauche, sits there. Adams throws another check. It comes to Ramey. Ramey takes it in the zone. Here's Jason Ramey. Schneider just rides him into the corner. Nice play by Brett Schneider. Puck comes free to McCracken. There's McCracken just headmans. It doesn't get it out of the zone. Bushy is there, and it's stolen by McCracken. McCracken's got Fauche two on one. Here comes Scotty. Looking, looking, Fauche shot. Oh, nice save by Greg Conger as the buzzer sounds. And Messina wins it two to nothing. Nice pass by McCracken. Well executed two on one. Executed two on one, but uh, big save. Actually, Conger played well tonight. Beautiful execution, uh, Scotty McCracken and Joey Fauche, but uh, Greg Conger rose to the occasion. Uh, Scotty delayed and delayed and delayed, and uh, he waited till Joey got in the slot, laid him a nice pass back on a forehand pass, and uh, Joey pulled the trigger right off the bat. Uh, but Conger, uh, again, rose to the occasion. Uh, 
A 2 nothing final score, uh, a wide uh, territorial uh, edge, I felt, to Messina tonight. I thought they played a good, solid game out there. And one player that really stood out in my mind, he's had a lot of outstanding games this year, but number 12, co-captain Mike Adams, was really a tower of power out there tonight. Uh, he played uh, both ends, defensively, offensively, really inspired leadership out there by uh, Mike Adams. And it's good to have Brian LeBac back. He turned in a solid performance, his first game back. And of course, uh, that second line played very well. The third line, uh, got to give them a lot of credit. They were out there digging and uh, seemed like every time uh, they were out there, the puck stayed in the OFA end. Yeah, that was a total uh, total team effort, I think. Uh, I think uh, the coaching staff's going to be pleased. Uh, Bruce wasn't called on. He was steady. He wasn't called on to make a lot. Total of 15 saves. Uh, and I'm going to test your memory. Uh, how many shutouts does he have now? Six. You think, oh, right off the bat, he's I got don't know it. for sure. Okay. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, we'll, uh, we'll trust your judgment. His sixth uh, shutout, uh, not overly uh, worked, but again, when he called upon, uh, when, uh, when the Raiders did turn it over to make the big save. The other side of the coin, uh, really a uh, lot of shots, 38 shots thrown at him by Messina, Greg Conger, and uh, only uh, making 36 saves, and many of them of the uh, outstanding variety. And uh, quickly, I can uh, give you the scoring uh, summary because it isn't very long. In the first period, the on a shorthanded goal, Raiders had one of each uh, tonight. Uh, Pat Tracy, Captain Pat Tracy, uh, stole the puck and uh, waltzed down the left side and beat uh, goalie Greg Conger from about uh, 25 feet out. And if, uh, if Mr. Conger had one bad uh, play during the night, that was possibly it. Uh, and then in the um, second period, uh, Timmy Thompson on a power play, uh, big booming rising shot at the 117 mark, uh, Mike Adams and Jeff Bigelow getting assists. No scoring in the third period. And we mentioned uh, Raiders out shooting uh, the Blue Devils 38 to 15. So again, the final score of the Messina Red Raiders shut out OFA two to nothing. Uh, almost better to do this. Uh, Messina may be facing this team in the sectional semifinals, uh, coming in off uh, off a blowout. Uh, you might go in a little too overconfident here. They had to work for the game. Uh, OFA was not that tough on them, but uh, Messina did have to work and uh, did not score that many goals. And uh, that'll be in the back of their mind when they if if and when they play them again.